Yo guys, welcome back to some more reaction videos. Today, we're going to a new DL Ones Out video called What Your Early Twenties Will Be Like. Now, before the video starts, I to please consider to subscribe to the channel, click like for the video, and also turn on the notification button for more future videos. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Yeah, I'm 25. That's a quarter of a century. And I've been doing YouTube full-time for a nickel of a century. My life's practically over. I'm at a point now where when people recognize me, they'll say, OMG James, I've been watching you since the 8th grade. And I'll be like, OMG, your beard is bigger than mine. <laughs> so I've been thinking, you know those going through puberty videos your 8th grade science teacher shows oh, you yes. for some reason? The I ones that are like, <laughs> hey boys, I'm the puberty platypus oh. and I'm here to tell you that your body is going through some wonderful changes. You're gonna start growing hair in weird places and smelling bad, but that's just the wonders of life. And then for the girl one, it's like, oh, ladies, you're gonna, you're gonna want to sit down for this one. <laughs> well, I think they need to make a puberty part two video that they show to high school seniors and prepare them better for the quote unquote adult life they're about to face. Schools just give you a piece of paper and a funny hat and send you off into the world expecting you to figure out your intricate and complicated <laughs> life through what? Trial and error? I want the puberty part two video that I'm planning on making to start like this. The puberty platypus will come back on screen and will be like, well kids, you did it. See? Puberty wasn't so bad. For some of you. Um, unfortunately dear children, <laughs> This is only the beginning. <laughs> and then he'll start talking about all the fun things you can expect in the following years. Yeah, true. Like, uh, instead of growing hair in new places, for some of you, your hair is going to start thinning and falling out. And if you're a guy worried about hair loss, then I've got good news. This video is sponsored by bald people. They're, uh, they're paying me money to tell you to just shave it all. Shave it. Looking good, Rush! You're also going to be perpetually tired. And before you start thinking, I'm not going to be tired, I'm going to get eight hours of sleep every night. No, First of all, be tired. no you're not. And second of all, that's not going to help. <laughs> you will still be tired and yeah, there's no, no escape. Do, Why do you think adults anyway. say, <laughs> don't talk to me till I've had my coffee? It's because every adult, from the moment they wake up, is dead tired. And we need stimulants just to function. You're yeah, also going to start getting excited about things you used to think were stupid. Like furniture shopping. Sometimes you'll go on Zillow and look at the most expensive houses and think, oh, that's a nice kitchen backsplash, and then wonder where your youth went. Another thing, 90% of the mail you get is worthless, but the other 10% of mail is very, very important. Like if you ignore it, your water, power, and Wi-Fi get shut off. Important. Or you'll get mail that's like, hey, you owe the government some money, and we know how much money you owe us, but we're not going to tell you, stupid. So you either have to figure that out yourself, or pay another person some money so they can tell you how much money you owe the government. Hey there. I don't want you to be scared of growing up. There's still plenty of pros that come with being older. And also you can't escape it. You'll get to be independent and make your own decisions. Did your parents never let you get a tattoo? Well, now you can. Oh but I want to put it somewhere that I can easily cover it up when I visit them for Christmas. That way it's not weird if I exclusively wear turtlenecks around them. <laughs> I just, I just like them. Another pro, you won't complain about the food you have at home because you'll only ever buy the food you like and can afford. You're independent now. You can eat cake for breakfast. Uh -huh. However, if you do that, your stomach will hurt and you won't be able to move for eight hours. Okay, at first you'll be able to get by with bagel bites for dinner. That's a standard college grade meal. But after a couple of years of that abuse, your body will go, Yo, do you think you could throw down some, I don't know, fruit every once in a while? <laughs> yeah, we gotta make, like, new cells for your developing brain, and we've been making them solely out of bagel bites. <laughs> it is genuinely upsetting that I have to figure out what I have to eat three times a day. There are some days where I'm hungry, but I'm not craving anything, and I know I have to eat, but I'm looking through my fridge, and I end up eating string cheese and grapes for lunch. On a bagel. I wish I could just unhinge my jaw and eat a month's worth of food like a snake. Do snakes only eat once a month? I don't know, I hate snakes. 50% of my driving destinations is to the grocery store, and the other 50% is drive throughs It's all food-based. Oh, actually, sometimes I do have to go to the gas station, Wait, that's just food for my car. 
<laughs> I've been trying to eat out less, so I bought boxed frozen orange chicken instead of oh, going yeah. to Panda frozen Express. Food, yeah. But then I realized I'm still eating out. I'm just heating up the orange chicken in my own microwave. Some of you might like cooking. I don't. Whenever I cook a meal, I purposely cook way more food than I need so I can get two meals out of only cooking one. I would rather eat progressively staler pasta all oh, week than have to gross. cook every day. But even if you like cooking, I know one aspect of it you don't like, cleaning up the mess afterwards. Oh, yeah, Why do you sure. think the rule, I cooked it, you clean it exists? And now that you're an adult, you're about to learn it never stops. Get used to doing the dishes and laundry because as long as you eat and sweat, those are two chores you do until the grave. Laundry is such a prevalent chore that I guarantee someone watching this video needs to put the wash into the dryer, but instead they're watching YouTube. Well, go on. Leave. I don't know how I'm, I'm going to handle folding right dishes now. and cleaning laundry for the rest of my life. I'm only 25 and already burned out from it. Hey, speaking of burnout, I want to talk about something I just learned recently called having a healthy work-life balance. Some of you might have started working from home this last year. <laughs> Welcome to the club. You now have no reason to go outside. So take it from a guy who's been working from home for five years. Go outside anyway. There's definitely benefits to working from home. Like, you get to work in your pajamas and... Um... But it can be tough to work and live under the same roof. And I think a lot of young people have this mindset of being on the grind is a good thing, or at least a normal one. While it is important to work hard to achieve your goals, you need to be aware of burnout. Yeah, and as a content creator who is his own boss, <laughs> it's very easy to fall into an unhealthy work ethic. If you think your boss is annoying, try having a boss that lives inside your head and will not shut up about working. It could be Saturday and you're hanging out with your friends and your boss in the back of your head will say, you could be working. There will always be work that needs to be done. You will always feel anxious about not posting. And since you technically live in the office, you could theoretically work well into the early hours of the morning every night or morning. I don't know. I want to talk more about burnout and my YouTube journey and how I'm managing it. But that will be for another time because I've been working on it. I'm definitely getting better. I'm more relaxed on the weekends and going to more social settings, vaccinated of course. It's taken me a while to learn the importance of a healthy work-life balance and that it's okay to work on yourself. I'm not sure if you all related to that last part, maybe give it a couple of years. But anyways, growing up is a part of life. Adulthood is something that you all should be looking forward to. You learn and experience so many things and that's just your early 20s. And before I go, is there anything you want to add, puberty platypus? Am I ever going to find something I'm truly passionate about? I drift through every day doing what feels like nothing. <laughs> Seeing all my high school friends getting married and starting families, doing things that they're happy and excited about, it makes me feel even more isolated in my state of confusion and solitude. Who am I? Why don't I know myself anymore? Why is this such a confession wrong? thing? <laughs> Bagel bite. So yeah, that was my reaction to the answer on what your early twenties will be like. Well, I am legit old. I'm actually twenty one, and some of the things uh that he mentioned, I also going through it, such as uh mostly the PPT stuff, <laughs> and also some like the taxes, all that stuff, payments, all that stuff. I'm learning through it. I'm still like getting to know how it works. I'm still learning through the stuff. And then like there's like the healthy grind thing. So yeah, I'm still working on that too. I'm not that fit. I am not really good at eating vegetables or eating fruits. So all I'm just gonna say for those who are almost gonna turn 20 or you're gonna turn 20, uh you should prepare because like in this kind of stage you're gonna feel um burn out as you mentioned and also pain, legit a lot of pain. So yeah. That's all for today guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click like for the video and also turn on the notification button for more future video. Also if you guys like this video, go to the description, the original videos in the description below and also goes to his channel. He has a lot of animation videos and they are so very good to watch. Now that's all, I'll see you guys next time, take care and peace.